not very happy today. Carmelo Anthony was just traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. The trade is expected to be finalized Monday, and it it, it irritates me a lot. Um, not for the fact that he's going to the Thunder. It's that I'll ex whoa 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 whoa. Can I not declines? I thought I could do trade override. What? All right, this is already a fail. So, um. Wow, okay. I, you used to be able to do override their uh, no trade clause too, but I can you not do it in this game? Uh, let me see if there's some settings anyway. But Carmelo Anthony freaking... Uh, I don't, let me see if I can... Uh, off trade override. Oh, it's not even on. It wasn't even on. Okay. I don't think it was. Um, anyway, let me go back to proposing that trade. So, Ennis Cantor and Doug McDermott in a future first round pick are headed to the Knicks. For a freaking Carmelo Anthony. Um, yeah, it's... I'll explain why I'm not very happy right now, obviously. But uh, I'm I'm happy for the Thunder. The, it'll help him compete a little bit more. There we go. And now we can get Carmelo. Uh, whoops, my phone's going off because... Carmelo just... Yeah, a 2018 second round pick via... A second rounder? That's what the freaking... Wow. All right. Um, this is my first reaction to the trade right now. So let's go ahead and go to the coach game plan and see what the team uh, see what they want to do. All right, that's fine. I'll let them run the rotation they want, and that's fine. I will run this. Okay. So Carmelo, um, the honestly the Knicks were desperate to trade Carmelo anyway, and uh, the finally when they got the chance, they did. I don't blame them for that. Uh, I think they could have gotten a little bit better from someone else maybe. Um, the reason why I'm upset right now is because I thought for sure that he was about to go to the Blazers, but then when as soon as he said as soon as he expanded his list I knew I knew the Blazers weren't going to get him anymore because I thought like literally hit, the only thing he wanted was Houston and if he couldn't get Houston he was just like screw it I'm gonna go to the Blazers but he expanded his list as soon as I heard that I knew we were out of it I knew that there oh what the heck um whoops okay I need to turn injuries off uh but yeah that uh, that sucks man I really wanted Carmelo I'm not gonna lie it would have uh, definitely helped out Where's Ch uh, Gosh, I'm already messed up in this video. A lot injuries off. I, I usually they they were supposed to be off anyway. So yeah, Carmelo on the Thunder. A big three of Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and uh, Carmelo Anthony, and they have Stephen Adams too. That should be very interesting. This team is going to make some noise. That's for sure. Um, the Thunder just got a lot better today or at mo after Monday. Uh, I will do a Thunder rebuild. Or actually, didn't I just do a Thunder rebuild? I really did, honestly, didn't I? Uh, I'll have to do a Carmelo Anthony Thunder rebuild Monday. Uh, I will not be uploading tomorrow. I don't. I'm not going to upload on Sundays anymore for a while because uh, I like to watch football all day, guys. So and it's it kind of a nice relaxing break as well. You know what I mean? But just uh, the Blazers. Like remember they were uh, rumored to they were recruiting Paul George, CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard. Really wanted Paul George. And uh, there was an offer. Jason Kidd, I think. It wasn't Jason, Jason Quick, not Jason Kidd. It, he was a Blazer reporter. He reported that the Blazers offered, like, two players and three first-round picks for Paul George or something like that. A player and uh, three first-round picks for um, Paul George. And I'm like, that seems like a way better offer than uh, Sabonis and Oladipo, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But they could have had three first-rounders. Uh, and instead of having that, and then now we got uh, Carmelo to the Thunder. So basically, and the Blazers are heavily recruiting Carmelo, and they lost out on both of them, and both of them went to the Thunder. That's just what I'm upset about. Um, Thunder in, in the Blazers division. So I hate the Thunder now. I really do. I'm I, I'm really jealous. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks as a Blazers fan. But as far as the trade goes, um, this is a good trade for the Thunder. Um, they get rid of Anis Cantor, who's on a one-year deal anyway. Uh, these seem like one-year rentals though, but they didn't really give up much. They literally just gave up. Ennis Cantor, which was going to be a, on a one-year contract anyway. Who knows if they would have been able to re-sign him or if he wanted to come back. Uh, what else? They had Doug McDermott, which he wasn't even doing much with them at all. And uh, they gave away a second-round pick, which usually sometimes second-rounders aren't always gold, but they can be sometimes uh, when it comes to like, you know, guys like Draymond Green getting picked in the second round and stuff like that. But you never know, man. Uh, it's just pretty crazy. It's just pretty crazy to think about, honestly, that the Thunder literally just got Carmelo Anthony. We all thought Carmelo was probably going to go to the Rockets. We all figured that he would, but in the end, the Knicks uh, stayed strong. They were like, we don't want Ryan Anderson, and I'm very proud of the Knicks for that because Ryan Anderson wouldn't have helped him out at all. Like, not really at all would they have helped him out. So basically, that got rid of Carmelo, which uh, probably was a great thing. Carmelo didn't want to be there, so it would be kind of weird to play with Carmelo all year. Uh, they got Ennis Cantor, who's not a bad center at all um i'm guessing he'll be coming off the bench for him um, my i'm get my guess is that he'll be coming off the bench for him 
and uh, or off, yeah, off the bench. And then they got Doug McDermott, who should be coming off the bench as well. Uh, maybe they start in this cancer with Porzingis. I don't know, uh, or maybe they start Michael Beasley. Not sure. But the Knicks are definitely in rebuild mode, and these are two quality players. Uh, just uh, Ennis Cantor's on a one-year deal. That's the only thing that concerns me for this uh, Knicks side of the trade. And if we don't even make the playoffs, it's kind of strange. I mean, 2K simulations just not helping me out here. Let's make the playoffs at least, please. <laughs> um, let's win. Okay, we take an L. Take a D L. Okay, so we're not going to make the playoffs probably. That sucks. I would like to see what this team does does in the playoffs but we might not see it can we win two more and make the playoffs oh we do we barely make it so we are the eighth seed so that's cool um james harden mvp oh my god see jim calm yeah same stuff really uh let's see if anybody on the all nba teams uh russell westbrook did i see westbrook no oh yeah paul george is here did i tr that's kind of weird you don't usually not see russell westbrook on an all nba team am i tripping no, I don't see him. Okay, so that's interesting. He is on the all-defensive second team, though. Okay, uh, we got eighth seed. Um, let's go ahead and look at the stats, see what this team did together. They got 23, 23, and 21. That's nice to see. So uh, that would be a nice stat line for all three of these guys next season. Um, kind of amazing me that Russell Westbrook wasn't all on an all-NBA team. At least I didn't see him anyway. Guys, this is a crazy trade, and this is going to definitely help the Thunder next year. Let's just go game by game. Uh, Carmelo facing the team he really wanted to go to. We might lose here. Yeah, we're going to get swept, guys. And, oh, can we come back? No, we get eliminated five. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. This is my first reaction. We'll do a Carmelo Anthony Thunder rebuild on Monday. Won't be uploading tomorrow. Uh, but thank you guys for continued support, man. What do you guys think in the comment section below about Carmelo Anthony to the Thunder? This is absolutely insane. But this is Crush Bulls. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you for being the best subs in the world. And I'm saying peace.